Welcome back. Let's have a look at Matic. Um, so a coin that we haven't really looked at in uh, in a while, actually, because it's just been stagnant. It's not really been doing anything at all. It's just been just not basically doing anything at all. So it made a few moves th uh, not too long ago, and um, yeah, nothing exciting has come out of that. Now, because it's an early coin, we don't have a great deal of um, indicators to show that when it's making when it's turning a corner, you know, it's making a it's. You know, it's basically creating its its path as it goes. It's that new. We can't really look at how it reacted in previous markets because it didn't exist in previous markets. But what I can say is that even though we did find some pumps the other day, um, they weren't as significant as um, say sort of coins like Link or EOS um, or even XRP, uh, which rocketed actually, completely taking me by surprise because. Um, I was I was expecting a, a a bit more bearish um, uh, movements actually a, a, across the board, but especially with things like XRP, and it's gone crazy. So it's telling me now that certain things are happening that really can't be charted for. Um, but what can be charted for is support and resistances. So what we've got here, we're looking at Matic here, uh, Satoshi values, and we've got a big blue box of support here, of resistance, sorry, uh, which is what we'd need to really break through to start to make some actual uh, differences um, to the way that it's going to perform after that area. So the first thing is that we've got to get to uh, 156 Satoshis. If we can punch through that level and actually break out the other side uh, around about 172, and then we can really actually start to look at making our way back into this main blue box territory here, uh, which would be the equivalent of the two cent mark, uh, which currently stands at uh, around 228 uh, Satoshis uh, to around about 282 Satoshis, quite a really big blue box territory area. And then, really, uh, you know, that would be the all clear for it, really. And Matic can start to make those big moves that we've all seen in the past with Matic. Um, Fundamentally, with Matic, it did have a beta mainnet. You know, it, it might be coming out on Coinbase. Who knows? But what I can say is, this move now it's just one big move that seems to have just appeared out of nowhere. But interestingly, at, at the same time that that happened, XRP has also made another big move today. Uh, a lot of that's been consolidated at the moment, actually. So um, let's not get too excited about Matic because XRP is making these moves, but. Um, you know, we saw what happened when we made these moves. We were just sold right out of the water, uh, and actually came back down to make new lows. So, you know, these th this could be happening as well. You know, let's let's just be realistic about it, but uh, let's enjoy it while it lasts. Currently, uh, we're on the daily here with the um, uh, big uh, sorry with uh, Matic and Tether, and our first attempt has been rejected here at the green 50 exponential moving average, which um, you know is fair enough because that's. Uh, often the case with most coins um, you need to break above there to really make a big difference and that's our first attempt on the daily to get across there and we've been rejected it there so fine that's no problem at all um, the spread that we've got here with the moving averages is still pretty bearish and when I say bearish I'm just saying it's not bullish and um, what we've got is the uh, the green 50 well we've got the 50 simple the 50 exponential 21 10 and 7 all uh, underneath each other like that which uh, and again with a downward slope to most of them meaning that you know it wants to continue with the downtrend but with a move like this it will give the opportunity for these guys to start moving up and bear in mind this is a daily chart so when the, when it, you know when we see a daily chart you know uh, make a move like this just over a couple of days it's not going to give these guys much time to room uh, much time to to move um we'll put this on just to see if there's anything else we can uh map out not as yet to be honest with you it's very early days but what we'd like to see is uh, first of all break above this area here then break above this level here which is the uh, Ichimoku cloud probably be rejected uh, around about here or here which is going to be around um, uh, 1.4 cent to uh, 1.5 cent so previous uh, support levels pretty much being tested um, with Matic it, it's once it's got past this 12 uh, sort of 1.2 cent area, which is kind of where we've been rejected at now, and um, then our next levels are generally around this. Uh, I'd say our, our next levels of, of resistance are 1.35. What is that? Uh, 1.35, uh, uh, 1.45. So essentially, just breaking away above this level here. So again, early days. Let's see how that goes. Let's have a quick another look at this. Um, I mean, the MACD obviously has responded to this quite well, 
um, but this could all shrink in overnight this, this could all just be retracted overnight but I kind of expect to be a bit, see a bit of continuation over this actually um, we'll have to see how the rest of the altcoins uh, react so essentially as we speak um, XRP is just down for the day ever so slightly just by a tiny way first down for the day Ooh, now it's back up for the day so you know I think things can change real quick with this and with uh, Bitcoin looking like it wants to go down I would it I would expect an impact on the rest of the market in some way or another because when that goes down there probably will be a thousand dollar drop and when it does go down it'll be about a thousand dollar drop uh, what we've got here we've got a death cross on the uh, 12 hourly which hasn't yet played out I don't expect so that is where I'm getting my thousand dollar or more drop with Bitcoin and that you know if that does play out that will impact impact the rest of the market now the main question is can these coins make a, a significant move up before that inevitable drop or is the drop going to take place and just take all these profits out of the water we'll have to wait and see I've got good feelings of Matic and um, Matic is making massive moves just as we speak right now it's it's really it's probably looking to test these areas now so um, probably the first area of rejection 156 um, and if we can break above 172 satoshis, we kind of will be laughing. Right, I'm going to sit back and watch the the show, and maybe take some some longs on that actually. Um, now you can do a bit of margin trading with with Matic on Binance, so why not take advantage of this? Thanks for watching. Hope you have a nice day. Take it easy.